Maverick here. Today we're back with another video on the channel, and today we're going to be doing some more computer craft. So in this episode, we're going to be looking at the different modems. So we've already done a video on wireless modems, but that was just a introduction. Now I'm going to do a bit more of an in-depth one. So first, we are going to talk about these ender modems right here. Because regular wireless modems, they're good, but they only have, they have a range like less than 500 blocks, and where and they can only do in the same dimension. Whereas the ender modem can do pretty much infinite range because it's two billion, which is the um, 32 bit integer limit. So I don't think you're going to have that problem. And also it isn't affe affected by thunderstorms, whereas the normal one, when it's a thunderstorm, it, the range gets even less. And also the other thing with the ender modem is it's cross-dimensional, so you can do it across, it works across every dimension. So if you want to send out a message to something in another dimension, you can use this. And there's, a, if you do repeat, repeat you can use the ender modem to have pretty much a range extender for anything because with these if if you're sending out something because this has an infinite infinite range it doesn't matter that this doesn't have an infinite range that can repeat it so it's it's really good like that because it can um it can really just boost the range of anything even we're using only just one ender modem and you can even connect ender modems onto these blocks right here so you can have one ender modem for all the different networks to send out messages just that will mean that the um, dis the gps.locate won't work but that's fine if it's a static building so for modems we ha we've talked about those two but now we have the networking cable and the white the wired modem so you have the networking cable and you have the different modems that can connect it the networking cable has a range of 256 segments and there is a segment so you, and you can do weird intricate shapes with them and they can join but that means you can go 256 network cable blocks and then we have these different blocks here which these ones they go on top of a solar block so you can connect stuff and and then you can just connect the network cable to them and you can just place it on the ground or shift click on that also to place modems I got a comment about this last time you just have to shift and then click on that and also if you're flying you can shift and press space at the same time to shift click on stuff so otherwise you would just fly down and then there's also these box ones which you can use to connect to objects you can't place stuff on like if you want to measure how much is in a chest you can use this and connect the chest to the network but that's and they can just have wires coming out of them anywhere. You can shift click on that. And the best part about it, I've got to say, is you can connect turtles to it and modems to it. So you can connect turtles to a network, which is good. And yeah, but now let's talk about the actual modems. So you can click on the modems to connect them to that. They usually don't have that red bit around it. I have to do a re-record because I'm an idiot and accidentally stopped recording kind of halfway through. That just means that actually the modems are actually enabled. But yeah, so I have made the programs here. We have send and we're going to edit send and have a look. So it oh, it oh it's like the monitors. It gets modem, peripheral dot rat right um, and then we do we do a read and then we transmit that and 
we're transmitting that's the channel we're transmitting on that's the it just sends reply channels so you a reply channel to them so they know what channel to reply on if they're doing that and then what the actual message is one other thing with this is you can see when I connect them to the network they come up with connected or disconnected turtle zero modem zero turtle one and if I had a monitor on here or whatever I want the one of the peripherals it would be monitor underscore insert number so if I wanted to do a monitor I could go to here and I could do local you usually go monitor equals peripheral dot wrap and let's say it's on it's on the top of the computer you'd go top or or like I've done here right but if if it's like mo monitor underscore three you can do monitor underscore three and it does the same thing and that means you can c have stuff separately from the computer so you can also have more stuff connected to it because it can split off you can have like five or six monitors connect to one computer and that's where you get into really complicated stuff but yeah so it just reads what it, you type so it sends that on channel 100 and so we're gonna run that and if we type hi that's good but if we go into here and we go and we run receive as we can see if I send something it uh, a message on channel 100 because that's the one we're sending on it message reads hi you should reply on 200 and the message was sent from 4 meters away or 4 blocks 1, 2, 3, 4 because a block is a meter by a meter but if we edit receive we can see that they are we, we use um, we do that and then we open a ch open the channel on the channel 100 that means if we do open that means it's listen that's the channel it's listening to and then we wait for the the event when it receives something on that channel it will do the event modem underscore message and then like modem press it it gives you the distance the message the reply channel the channel and then what the event is and the perif and what the what peripheral calls the message but I just have that set as as just ENP because I don't want to take that up then we print the channel the message the reply channel and the distance and you see if I change that to 200 it and then we run that when I send a message here it does hmm. see. I think it might be that the modem the other channel isn't getting close close but it's it should do that so if we go here and we go edit receive I have a receive program on this and we do that connect that to the network send hi see that doesn't receive it so yeah it's it's just that this one somehow has like the channel open from the past somehow I don't know how that works because that one's receiving it even though it's not that whereas that one isn't but yeah so you can connect that to the network if we do send on here we can send yeah see it's not edit it's weird if we edit receive and we receive on 100 and we do receive and we send 100 from this program this is weird but 
Okay, that wasn't connected. Oh, this is confusing. It, it should be working. I don't know why it's not working, but yeah, that one of the last things is with modems, you can, for a pocket computer, if you want to go, we'll go edit, send, dot lower, and then red, we'll just go rednet dot open just for now and for this if you're doing that rednet dot broadcast test if you're doing if you're using the pocket computer to send it you do the back of it and you can see that the modem's now open so now we go rednet dot close to close it we want to close back and you see it turns off so that's how you use the modem on the back of, uh, or on a pocket computer. But that's going to be it for this episode. Um, in another episode, I think I'm going to do one about basic Lua programming. And as examples, so that you also learn about this, I'm going to do stuff about the speaker and the printer. But until then, I will see you next time.